today we are going to be taking you on a three night adventure down to one of the most exotic places in Thailand. It's commonly a place that people don't always include in their itineraries when they are visiting Thailand. But let me tell you, when you see this video, you're going to be shocked as we take you on a journey from Bangkok down to Surat Thani, do a quick overnight, and then we head over to Khao Sak National Park. Welcome to one of the most beautiful places on earth. This place is one of the most mesmerizing places in Thailand. And that's because in some areas, you actually feel like you are in in the real life version of Avatar. Cop Kun Cop. <laughs> hey, it's Spider Man, yeah. After we take a boat ride through these beautiful cliffs, we're gonna be getting over to an amazing place that some would consider to be the Maldives of Thailand. And that's because we are going to be visiting some floating villas. But that is not all. The next day, we're going to be heading inside of a cave where there are even pythons and king cobras. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo, yeah. Guys, we are literally up to here in the cave going through. And we'll be walking through the areas that sometimes they swim through. But before we take you there, let's go to Bangkok. Many people skip this place, and the reason being is it's not as popular as, let's say, places like Koh Samoy, Koh Phi Phi, Bangkok, and Chiang Mai, but it's actually an incredible national park, and we're gonna be doing so much today. So right now, we've got our grab driver coming to pick us up any minute now, and then we're gonna be heading to the airport. Swati Cup, Swati Cup. Uh, uh, for you guys, for you guys, yeah. Cup on top, thank you. All right, you too, you too. Thank you very much. What the cup, brother? Uh, YouTuber, you? YouTuber, yeah. Oh, very good. Eh, <laughs> cup, good cup. Our first stop today is we're going to be stopping at what's known as a bounce location. So if you're not familiar with it, it's actually luggage storage. So you can travel anywhere in like 10,000 different locations around the world and store your bags. Just the baggage fees alone on the airline would have been like $17 each way. So that would have been like $35. Plus I wouldn't have been able to take a scooter around when I get down to Suratani. Now to make a booking, I just open up the bounce app. I selected the location. I want to go to i'm just putting in one bag and i'm going from now until 7 p.m so yeah it's five dollars per day such a good price here in bangkok and you can pay with yeah apple pay credit card or paypal and yeah when i get there like it's sweet it's got instructions here head to the location i've got the directions right here to it make sure our bounce partner scans your qr code and then enjoy your extra time and that we definitely will be doing okay, okay. Oh. all right we have arrived at the rest of the hostel Ugh. Hello, Swati Kaab. How are you? Uh, yes, I've got a uh, bag I would like to uh, store here, please. Uh, with Bounce. Yeah, I'm storing my bag here for the next like three and a half days. I've got a QR code. Yes. So you basically open up the QR code and then they scan it. And it's done just like that. So then we bring it down this way to a nice stored and secure location and we get to put it right in here awesome there we go see you in three days three and a half days back cop coon cop thank you so much so you guys super efficient process that literally took me like 60 seconds total thank you bye so there it is there we have it bag is bounced that quickly and now we just saved ourselves like 35 dollars off the hand okay yeah oh perfect good to go so now we just saved ourselves $35 of baggage fees round trip for $21 to store it right here and I'll pick it up on my way back. So you can see the update checked in and we're good to go. So I actually have a discount code you can use to store your bags. So it's if you're storing for 24 hours, it's literally free. You get $5 if you use my code WORLDNOMAC, which I'm gonna put on the screen right here. Whether it's here in Bangkok or somewhere else in the world where they have 10,000 different store locations, you'll have five bucks ready to go, which is one bag free for 24 hours just for you guys. So link down in the description below to go ahead and book. But once again, you have to do it through the app and not the desktop version. So set up your account on your phone, get that app downloaded, and you'll be good to go. So we are cruising down to uh, Khao Sak. You know Khao Sak? Good place? Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, Khao nice place. Yeah. We have arrived, brother. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Tip for you? Oh, thank you. Kapun Kap. Thank you, thank you. All right, we got the backpack. Have a good day. Good Thank kids. you so much. Oh. Good man, good man. Thank oh, you. I really appreciate you, you it. You handsome. 
Oh, oh thank you. That's very nice of you to say. Okay. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate okay. it. Bye, bye, bye. bye now. Take care. Oh, Thai people are such nice people. They're always smiling, always happy. I already checked in online because I dropped my bag off at Bounce, so I get to walk directly to security, which is keeping things nice and easy. Honestly, I should have timed that. That was probably five minutes from drop off to walking directly to security. Luckily, security was a fast line. But imagine that, if I would have had my bag, that would have taken me an extra 30, 35 minutes. All right, and there's us, Surat Thani. Welcome to Surat Thani. The adventure begins, we have three nights here and we're gonna explore as much as we can. We're taking the bus over and then we're gonna get a grab over to the town and from there, we're gonna pick up our scooter and start ripping all around. Here we are. It is much hotter down here than Bangkok, it feels like. Oh, it's just a tiny little airport. Swati Cup, brother. Cup oh, okay. Cup. Oh, thank you very much. All right. So we've got ourselves a 30 minute ride to the bike shop. We have made it. Oh. Oh. Saratani, it has been a while. That was about uh, 314 baht, so maybe $9 to take it into Saratani. And then now I think we're paying like 350 per day for a 150cc bike. Swati cup. Hello. Uh, did you book a uh, yes, I did. So we are going to be cruising about one hour and 15 minutes to our first accommodation tonight, which is just one that I'm staying at briefly to burn some time because tomorrow morning we have some amazing activities and then we're going to be going to the floating villas. So where I'm picking up my uh, scooter here is from X Rentals. I actually found this place in a blog post the last couple days when I was doing some research on Suratani as the uh, best spot in Suratani to uh, rent a bike. So this is X himself who runs the uh, best scooter shop mm -hmm. in all of Suratani, right? <laughs> all right. So he's hooking me up with a brand new bike today, guys. This is one of the newer bikes. So the cool part is it's a smart bike. You don't see a key, neither do I. That's because it is in my pocket right there. So to get this thing started, how do we do that? Uh, you just have to push it. Push it? Oh, okay. There we go. That's how we do it. And? And then push again. Push it again. Just Start it up. All right. Start just like that. Perfect. Thank you, brother. Really, really appreciate it. Here we go. The journey is beginning now, my friend. Pretty much only the next 24 hours. And then when I drive back will be when I use the scooter. But I really wanted to cruise out there in a fun way. And so for, yeah, maybe, what did I pay total? $30 roughly to have a really nice and pretty fast scooter. I figured this was gonna be a great deal. So we're cruising up this way. This is how the scooters do it. They drive past all the cars and then they all bunch up right at the front. And they hooked me up with a uh, phone holder so I could put my GPS right there hands free. Ah, the right tiny, it sure has been a while. This is surreal right now. We are driving through a tunnel of trees. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my gosh, guys. This drive is truly one of a kind. Look at these land formations. The GoPro flattens it a bit. Otherwise, you can see they're like these really steep cliffs right here with the sun setting in the distance. We have made it and listen how loud those bugs are. That's insane. It's a cool little spot. Looks like those are outdoor showers. So this is the accommodation right here. So we've got a nice big bed in the center of the room, a couple chairs, some fresh water. Gets the job done, $20 per night for this place. I got a inexpensive place that looked like it had a cool vibe, high rating. And uh, yeah, it's like, you kind of get to be in nature. There's definitely no AC in here, so we might have some uh, noises we hear throughout the night, but gets the job done. 
And good morning, good morning, my friends. This is straight from Surat Tani's jungle. This is where we slept last night. It was a bit too dark to film, but these were the accommodations you have to wake up to. Lots and lots of bugs making tons of noise out here. It was incredible to sleep in the nature like this. So now we're gonna continue this three night journey. We're gonna be staying in a floating hotel tonight for the next two nights and it's gonna be insane. This is the main purpose why we came all the way down here yesterday and we're gonna take you with. We're gonna check out of the hotel, see a really cool viewpoint right now and then head over. But this is the uh, beautiful little spot I stayed at last night for $20 per night and it's truly straight in nature. Such a beautiful spot. There's our bike, let's get back on the road. We are back on the bike and we're gonna head over to this viewpoint which is only a quick 10 minutes away. Right now we're on some rough terrain getting back out of this hotel. But uh, yeah, it was a really good night's sleep. Great peaceful place, honestly. I just didn't film too much because it was so dark. You wouldn't be able to see anything. It was called Ban Suan Futarn. On the road again. Oh. That morning sun's got me. It has been a couple months since I've traveled around with just a backpack and oh my gosh, is it so freeing. It's so great. You just toss your backpack on it. You just, you just have so much freedom to go wherever you want. So I'm so glad I dropped that bag off. I would be taking a taxi. So just think about that. Every route that I took, I would have had to pay so much more money because I don't have the scooter. You know, like the scooter costs maybe 10, 15 bucks a day. But then you think about each time I have to have a taxi, drive all the way to where I'm at in the middle of nowhere, then take me to the next spot. I just probably wouldn't do as much, you know? Like it's the freedom component more than the money. That's the loss. Super cool though. They have all these little guest houses here in the mountains. And I think this is where we turn in to go to the dam. I think probably we need to start our day out with a little damn view coffee shop. Now that's a damn good view. No pun intended. Check this place out. Slide this. All right. Want the cup? Want the cup? Uh, you have a iced latte? Iced latte? Yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Cup and cup. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a little iced latte to start out. And maybe we'll get a fresh fruit and uh, one fruit, please. Cup and cup. All right, we got ourselves a really nice viewpoint. Look at this, guys. To wake up to this incredibly stunning dam. That is something else. Just had a quick little coffee here, ended up going on my laptop. It was an amazing spot right there with the views of the lake. And if you're coming here to explore for a couple hours, you can get food here as well. I'm probably gonna wait till I get to the floating resort till I get some food. I think essentially from where we saw it at the balcony, that's one of the sides you can see it. We'll take the moped over to the dam. Ah, that fresh mountain air. What a beautiful place. So we've got about five minutes till we get to the pier and I think we're gonna pass the amazing dam viewpoint on our way down there. We got the long tail boats right over there. We're gonna be getting on one of those. All right, tourist pier to the left. I love that they have got tons of signage over here. So, I mean, I've got my GPS going, so I don't need it, but it's still nice to have those signage uh, points to know for sure. We'll be dropping the bike here for the next couple days. Right, we got the bike locked up. We are good to go. We will see you in 48 hours, bike. Now we're gonna head down to the pier. So this is it, Kausak National Park. This place is busier than I expected. I guess it's not as much of a hidden gem as I thought. 
Got markets and everything right here down by the pier. Up here is 500 rye. Swati Cup, Swati Cup. I'm gonna be staying at 500 rye? Yes. Yeah, perfect. It's, mm. it's a Mac candy. Get into two activities. Activity already. This place I think is Oh, morning. all right. Kayaking. Kayaking. Oh, perfect. Anytime then? Oh, activity is Wailaka Ching. Have oh, elephants too. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. All right. Yes, and tomorrow have this one. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yes. yes, and you have to buy tickets for national party and tickets for the pier over there. Perfect. Entrance fee for foreigners, 200 baht right there. Swati Cup, Swati Cup. Uh, one one uh, foreigner fee, please. We got 100. 200 Batskis, brother. Kap Kun Kap. Thank you. Sub-district national park fee here. So, that's gonna be 40 Bataloonies. Swati Kap, uh, just one person, please. Okay, Kap Kun Kap. 40, do you have a smaller? Uh, no, I just gave it to them. Okay, Kap Kun Kap. All right, so I just stopped back over. She hooked me up with a one piece of sandwich or cake at one of these little restaurants over here. So we've got this huge pier. This is where all the uh, boats or people are loading on, loading off, and going to the different areas. It's a pretty massive lake. We've got tons of areas you can wait over here in the shade, which is nice. And a pathway to fresh coffee and restaurant. National Park Welfare Store. Hello. Is this where I can use this? Yes. Oh, perfect. Uh, what types of sandwiches do you have? Uh, sandwich toast, finished. Oh, finished. Yeah, oh. you, you change cake, free cake, free one thing. Uh, okay, what about a, a mango smoothie? Yes. Okay, cup, kun cup. This one? Yes, please. All right, we got ourselves a nice free mango smoothie to start out. Can't complain there, my favorite smoothie in the world. Mm, mm, mm. So we got a closer look down here at the pier. This is where everyone's loading up. It's a nice quaint little pier. Just give us an idea, like everything out here we're gonna be coming across is gonna be like floating hotels, probably pass them on the way, and then the place we're staying at, 500 Rye, is gonna blow your mind. It is time, we're heading over to the boat. How long is the uh, boat ride to get down there? One hour and a half. Oh, one hour and a half. All right, so it's a long distance then. Thank you. Cup and cup, thank you very much. Cup and cup, thank you. All right, we're gonna be feeding some of those fish when we get over there. Those are some huge fish in there. They know we've got some food right there. So I guess they eat these little corn, uh, pieces of corn right there. All right, and then I think somewhere down here is where we're gonna find the boat that we're taking. Got a long cruise and they fully load them up. Thank you. And we're off an hour and 30 minute journey to get us there. And uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty beautiful ride. It's different than riding some of these long tail boats like we did out in Koh Phi Phi where the waves were super choppy. Here I think it's gonna be a pretty smooth ride the whole way there. This park is actually the largest in southern Thailand for virgin forest out here. So there are tons of different species of animals we're gonna be coming across including the wildlife safari we do out here. These insanely beautiful limestones. Once we get a little bit closer you'll be able to see them. Here we're still a bit far out. And what keeps this uh, a uh, huge lake contained is the dam system they have. It's really amazing. It's such an intensely greenish blue turquoise water here. You can kind of see it. You can see it much more clearly, clearly in the uh, naked eye right there. But uh, it sure is a fascinating place to be exploring. And definitely one of those spots after this being my third time in Thailand, finally making it here. And so I'm really excited for it. It's like, for me, it feels like exploring a brand new country. And I would say what I think makes a stay like this such a special experience here in Thailand is the fact that the floating hotels aren't just right here by the coast where you drive your moped or scooter up to or you're, you take the tour bus. Like we actually have to do a full on boat journey to get there. Like an hour and a half going, probably 30 kilometers an hour, 15, 20 miles an hour. And you know, it really makes you feel like you're working for it. And two full nights here. So we're gonna maximize every second we're here. Now we're getting really close to the limestone cliffs here and this is freaking incredible. I mean, you literally feel like you're in some sort of movie just driving into these cliffs. And I can imagine at different times of the day, like imagine this is sunset right now 
and you just have this sun setting in between these cliffs just absolutely towering cliffs as we're driving in cruising in the shape of this lake is also pretty fascinating because there's all these little pockets you would think the lake would end back there but then there's all these little pockets that the boats go through which makes it such an interesting experience look look at these little coves right in there yeah, this gives you an idea of how wild the pathway is to get in here. The lake spreads through all these cliffs and we get somewhere out in here, I believe. All these little boat tours are going in and out of these like limestone islands. That's unbelievable. Thailand is such an incredible country. It's got a lot of similarities to where I've been in uh, Vietnam, like Ha Long Bay. Like so, same, same, but different type of uh, experience over here. Who would have ever thought that like a taxi boat that gets you to your resort is an excursion in itself. By the way, my friends, one thing I wanted to mention is I've actually written an ebook all about things to do in Thailand, places to visit, incredible islands that you cannot miss out on, as well as other things that are a bit harder to come across, which is like how to get from one island to the next, ferries, speed boats, how do you travel by plane in Thailand, and so much more. That has all of my experiences written in there, and I think you'll find it very helpful. So if you wanna check that out, there's a link down in the description below. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is truly another world. Welcome to one of the most beautiful places on earth here in this incredible spot where we are surrounded 360 degrees by insanely tall limestone cliffs, the iconic long tail boats here, and these lampshade looking rocks right there. This is something truly out of a movie. Guys, look at this. It looks like Spider-Man on a canoe right there. Spider-Man! No way. <laughs> Only in Thailand. The ice cream's uh, just more of like the icing on the cake right now. I just want to meet this guy. <laughs> you know, I knew we might be seeing tigers and other wild species, but definitely I did not expect this species to be found. So this is my first time ever getting ice cream from Spider-Man floating right by. Expected to see him in New York City, but not here in Thailand. Swati Cub! Fresh ice cream, brother? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Unreal, guys. He literally floats up on this small little mini boat with a mini long tail engine right there and has this big thing of ice cream. Would have never expected to be able to get ice cream in the middle of this lake. 40 baht. All right, there we go. Sweaty cop, Spider Man. How much is it? All right, with a little topping there. There's How many? Tip for you, brother. Just one. Just one. Cop going cop, brother. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's, let's test this out. Mm. Guys, that's insane. It tastes so good. I'm surprised he's able to keep it frozen right now as well. Yeah, with, uh, cruising Which is tough. Take the money. We don't know what to give With some peanuts in there as well. I think this might be my favorite place I've ever had ice cream out here at sea. <laughs> and he stands on this small little boat while he's flipping the paddle around. That is crazy. For a good price to 40 baht guys, that's like one US dollar. So. Cop Kun Cup. <laughs> hey, Spider Man, yeah? Photo. Yeah, yeah, all right, let's do it. Me and Spidey, let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, like yeah. thank you. All right, thank you, brother. What's your name? Peter Parker. Peter Parker, Spider Man. All right, <laughs> awesome. Cop Kun Cup. That's amazing, guys. So, if you're coming out here, you can look out for this very special ice cream experience. Mm -hmm. And to top it all, the ice cream tastes delicious. Some delicious ice cream from Spider-Man. That was definitely probably the most unexpected thing was to find Spider-Man in the middle of Thailand. I didn't know Spider-Man was doing his vacation, but I guess now we know you can get him out here as well. So we're seeing our first, it looks like, floating uh, hotels right there. I'm gonna have to use a cell phone clip to show you guys because it's just that tiny little speck right there. We've gone pretty far out at this point because you don't see too many other boats. There's only one other single boat in the entire distance around us right now. And other than that, we are deep inside of nature, way into the national park here. You can only see some um, like almost like orange sand beaches way out in the distance. 
Yeah, so look at this. There's a few different sized villas. There's that massive one right there. And then there's like another nice size one that's all the way off on its own. And then it looks like two sizes on this bridge that connects to where I think breakfast and lunch dinner might be served on that big terrace, white terrace area. So this is definitely one of the coolest hotel experiences I've ever done. They're greeting us right when we arrive at this little pier sticking off. All right, we have made it. Hello, Swati Cup, Swati Cup. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. We're literally just on this floating area right here. This is kind of the dining room, it looks like. 500 rye. Disconnect to reconnect. Swati Cup, brother. Can I hit your name? Uh, I am Matt Candy. Yeah, you can have a lunch first. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we got a little bridge we got to walk across. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. We have made it out after a one and a half hour journey. And I can tell you, it's even better than I imagined it to be. This is where we're going to spend the next two nights living on water. This is the craziest part. There is a floating pool on top of a lake here. So that looks super refreshing after this. But uh, this is it, 500 rye. All right, so we got our first setup here, which looks like a delicious salad with some cheese bacon bits. Egg, it looks like. Oof. Oof. Let's test this out. Mm. That is a very nice palate cleanser. You got the bacon crunch mixed in there and some uh, croutons and cheese. Mm. Fantastic. We've got a delicious piece of salmon right there with some specialty sauces and vegetables and a mango shake so what better way to say welcome to cow sauce that tastes delicious let's go ahead and test this thing out oh that salmon just breaks apart that's how you know it's going to be great if it pretty much melts in your mouth and when you run the knife through it it just falls apart that's a great sign mm. That is an incredible first meal to start out with. All right, so we are heading over. What was your name, brother? TT. TT. All right, TT is taking us over to our room. We're in the number one spot. All right. And look at this, guys. They're essentially almost like boats in terms of how they float. It looks like what you'd see on a pontoon boat. And these villas just float right here. So they got the AC on the back. And this is such an exotic experience. TT is taking great care of us. He just got us all set up for an amazing schedule the next couple days. We're going to be doing, starting out later today, a little wildlife safari. Tomorrow morning we're going to be waking up bright and early, but I'm not going to tell you what those things are. You'll just have to continue watching. And here we are. We are home. Cop Kun Cop. So here we go for the room tour. Welcome to the 500 Rye. And wow, this is one of the most exotic experiences I have stayed at in terms of hotels. We've got a beautiful bed that looks out to this. Completely unobstructed views with this unbelievable horizon of all the limestone cliffs in the distance. Kayak right out front to hop aboard and a little bamboo platform as well. So this is the accommodation you can have free flow and air pop these windows open right now i got the ac on because it is a little bit hot out and literally an ac unit on this floating raft hotel so this is so cool we've got in here a shower and the shower's kind of outdoor you see it's like half outdoor half not but look at this view when you're showering you can just look out and see this beautiful landscape shampoo shower gel all the good stuff there is even hot water out here on this floating hotel which is crazy then we actually have a second floor which is awesome so if you're bringing the kids you got a space for them up here two beds right up top and a fan so i must say i've stayed at many exotic hotels at this point but never one that's actually floating like this and we've got fresh towels on this side Looks like these are glasses. And then on this side, we've got a toilet. So also with views that we can look out and relax. I think it's about time to uh, check out what we've got on the balcony now. Show you guys the views here. Unlock those. 
that. And boom, let's head outside. Wow, this is awesome. All these floating hotels right here. Our neighbors right there. Life jackets, paddles. And this is how they're all kind of connected with metal structural pieces. Yeah, this is freaking awesome, guys. I can't believe I'm staying here the next two nights. Truly surreal, especially like I can't wait for like the sunset and sunrise. We got people swimming in the pool right over there. I'm not seeing anyone swim out here yet. I want to jump in so badly. Alright guys, after quite a bit of uh, rest and relaxation, it is time to go and do an animal safari. So now it was time to take a long tail boat about 30 minutes away from the resort. And once we got out there, we saw amazing nature. It was just the lake, no other hotels. Unfortunately, around this time of the day, there aren't as many animals as there are out in the morning, but we were able to see some monkeys running around as well as catch some deer in the distance. But the best part of this evening wasn't seeing the animals because there wasn't that many. It was actually the boat ride. For the last 30 to 40 minutes, we had an amazing golden hour sunset as we rode the boat looking out for some last animals before we headed back over to the hotel. So guys, this is where we're gonna be having dinner. There's a bar on the left side, you can get some drinks, and then we're gonna find a table right in the corner so I can show you guys what I have to eat today. Yeah, which one would you recommend here? Uh, I recommend, I recommend you can try all food. All right, let's yeah. do it. Because I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, you're very happy. Yeah, yeah. I recommend the Thai food. Okay. You don't have everything. Perfect, let's do that. It's the full table. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> okay. well, maybe not the whole table, but a little bit, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I yeah. said four people. All right, perfect, And I perfect. think the kitchen said so big. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. That yeah. sounds great. You want the Thai? Yes, please. Oh, okay, you eat spicy or no? Very spicy. Very? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very for Thai people. Very so spicy. Very, very for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. perfect. Kap Kun Kap. Thank you so much. All right, we're having a full Thai meal tonight, so this looks absolutely fantastic. That is going to be delicious. The uh, lunch here was absolutely phenomenal, so I don't expect this to be any different. All right, so now I think everything else has arrived. We've got like a pork soup right there, a big thing of rice. I couldn't fully understand what this was, but it looks like maybe zucchini with some sort of like milky curry sauce. Over here we've got some uh, chicken wings there fried up. Some sort of soup with veggies and looks like some sort of breadcrumbs maybe. And then a salad here with an egg. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get a piece of that meat. Mm. And this one's like that, kind of almost like a sweet and sour type of broth. Oh yeah, update. I guess this is a shrimp salad. Look at that, freshly caught shrimp. Mm. So many flavors in Thailand, I've never even tasted in my life. I think we gotta give the uh, chicken wings a shot. These are what's pulling everyone's attention. Let's try this out. This is like a uh, salad with a crunch mixed in. It's almost like a soupy spinach with those breadcrumbs. Wow, that might be one of my favorites. Oh, after the chicken wings. All right, we did some serious work on that food. I didn't finish it all the way, but I can tell you, wow, that soup was up there. Top three chicken and that shrimp was so nice. Because I'm not a huge seafood fan, I. I the quality was incredible on the spice on this one, but I'm just not a huge seafood fan, so I think if that's eel or something, it's not my favorite. But the food quality, 10 out of 10, easily. So, so good. Nut's taking such good care of us. She's already getting us set up for tomorrow morning's menu, so I'm gonna be having some pancakes and omelets. You'll have to wait till the morning to see what those are gonna be like. Pop and pop, no. Thank you. Oh yeah, my friends, that was a delicious dinner. Now we're heading back to the room. All right, we got the light on. It's nice mood lighting in here. Look at this. 
close the curtains, get some privacy, and call it a night, my friend. That was an amazing first day here. Spent a lot of time relaxing and chilling. Showed you guys a little bit of what there is to do here so far, but there's gonna be a lot more, so I think it is time to uh, do a little work on the computer and get a nice good night's sleep. See you in the morning. Oh. Friends, let's check out this sunrise. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Look at this right there. Just listen to the sounds of nature at this hour. Got birds chirping. It's just phenomenal. Truly a paradise here. Seeing the clouds look like this at this hour too. And officially the sun has rose over the mountains. Look at how stunning this is. You have that golden tint that just lights up the entire area around here. People over there doing a little sunrise yoga to start out. I was thinking about joining, but I could miss the sunset with a drone. Good morning. From 500 Rye, we are heading out to breakfast. In a place like this, the morning is always the best when it's quaint, chill, and quiet. A lot of people are already up for like boat tours. I might do that tomorrow morning. Today, I just wanted to take in that sunrise, get some nice rest and relaxation. Buenos dias. All right, All right we got a nice little pool session this morning. Look at this a pool inside of a lake. It's gonna be my first time finally going in the pool, so we're gonna have to go for a little swim. Yeah, look at how crazy this is. We've got the lake there, and then we've got the pool. Oh, the pool's hot. Yeah, that's crazy. When you're walking on the bottom of the pool, normally you'd expect something like hard that you're walking on, but it's actually just like canvas, and then there's water underneath it. Phenomenal swim to start the day here. I don't think I can name a better combo than an iced latte with a sunrise like this. Oh, and that is perfect. Oh, plate number two? Oh, yes, please. Number two today. Here we go. We're only doing two this morning. It's your guys' turn to do five. <laughs> uh, four? All right, not bad, not bad. All right, so this is what's on the menu today. Some delicious looking pancakes here. An omelet that's oozing out with some cheese, some ham. Looks like some onions, peppers, and that looks fantastic. And on this side, I think we've got even a half sliced banana and some whipped cream. So this looks quite appetizing after a swim. Let's test out this omelet first. We'll finish with the pancakes for dessert. Yeah, that omelet's got a nice chew to it. Steaming, literally fresh off the pan right there. And you order them the night before, so that way they know what your order is. So you don't have to do anything in the morning except simply wake up and walk yourself out here. And these pancakes are quite interesting. If you look at them, they're more of like, almost like that Japanese style, like thick pancake. And we're gonna get a little syrup on there. Definitely some of that whipped cream. I don't know if that's whipped cream or butter, but we surely will find out. Oh yeah, that's whipped cream. Put a little of that up top. And let's dig right in. Oh, look at that doughiness. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's tasty. Splurging today on two full meals. Mm. One thing I always do, even at resorts where the meals and stuff are included, I always try and leave it tipped because the uh, staff works so hard and uh, it's greatly appreciated by them. So a little bit goes a long way, my friends. Time to head back to the room now that we have a full belly. All right, it's time to go do a little relaxation for maybe an hour or so, and then we're going to explore a really exotic place here. So there's all these activities. That's how you kind of like uh, stay in this place for a couple nights at a time. You do some activities during the day. Sometimes you lounge around. It's totally up to you. So I'm doing a mix of activities, mix of lounging. All right, the adventure side of the day officially begins now. We are heading over to the boat. So we got Matt. Ah, yeah. You ready yeah. for this? So where are we going to be going? Ah, uh, we are going to the uh, Tam Taru. Yeah. Tam Taru. Tam, Tam Taru. Does Tam mean cave in Thai? Huh? Does Tam mean cave? Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. That's correct. All right, all right. Up, up. Made it. Thank you. So we got a nice long adventure hiking into Nam Talu Cave. Nam Nam Talu meaning the that this cave had the, the water flow 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 through inside. Oh, okay. Uh, how far is the cave from here? Uh, seven hundred meters. So oh, seven hundred meters. Yeah. All right. So just a quick little seven hundred meter walk, and we're already at the cave. But this is cool. We're gonna be walking through a uh, bamboo forest here. And then under this cave is the open thick month and close thick month. From June to December is cold because uh, it's the rainy season. Oh, yeah. The high water. Super tall bamboo forest uh, right here. <laughs> So there's the pythons in here? Ah uh, yeah, pythons. And python the python and uh, king cobra, you know king 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 cobra? Oh yeah, they like to bite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then I'm gonna stay behind you so you can lead the way. <laughs> Have you ever been bitten? Uh, no, uh, only, uh, python in the cave, but uh, uh, king cobra, uh, they, they, they never see them. <laughs> I should've worn pants. Oh yeah. Well. well. Hopefully we don't get bit by any snakes. <laughs> so you got bit by a python before? Sorry? You were bit by a python? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I will, I will show you. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one. Wow. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> it's a big one. Do they swim? Oh yeah. Oh, so they could be in the water too? Uh, and the one, they, 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 they live in the top of the cave. Oh wow. But, but they can swim. That's terrifying. <laughs> Do you ever, do they ever swim past while people are going through? <laughs> okay. How often do you see the python? Uh, Every time? No, no, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that little one right there. Yeah, we are deep in the jungle, guys. We could run into like two of the most wild snakes. We crossing this river? <laughs> All right, our first entrance into the water. Oh, that's ice cold. I didn't realize we were going uh, to this level of adventurousness. How long is the total uh, hike? Uh, 2.5 kilometers. 2.5 kilometers through the uh, cave. Yeah. So one hour? Yeah, uh, 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 30 minutes, 40 minutes. We start from the, uh, uh, the start point to the, the cave in trunk. 200, uh, 2.5 kilometers. And then walk into the cave, 700 meters. And out from the cave to the... <laughs> To the point again, one kilometer. All right, so it's like the, the cycle. only 40 minutes to do all of that. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So we're back before lunch. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I would like to thank all of you for supporting my new clothing brand, Perception, which I recently launched and it supports the ideology of changing perceptions of the world one country at a time. And through the last five years, I've been traveling all around the world. And during that time, I've had the opportunity to meet so many people, experience many unique cultures and see places that I understood in a completely different way. And that led me to create my clothing brand, Perception. We have Perception because when you walk out and see the world right there where the O is, you get to experience the world in a new way every time you put yourself out there. And so I've created a number of different items, one of them being the sweatshirt right here, as well as hoodies and t-shirts. 
both printed as well as blank. And you can check them out on my website, a link down in the description below. With every purchase, there's a percentage that goes back to communities and families in need all around the world. And I share those in videos for you guys to experience. So thank you so much. Back to the video. So are there any tigers out here? Oh yeah, tigers. <clears throat> Do you ever see them walking? <laughs> no? Yeah, so we're in the jungle, guys. There's tigers, snakes, and so much more. Oh, Take wow. They're walking on the southern dam. Oh, really? On the dam? <laughs> yeah. That's wild. <laughs> three days ago. That was three days ago, the tiger? Yeah, 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 tiger. Oh, wow. Yeah, that tiger was walking on the dam three days ago. So they are out here. Hopefully they're not hungry today. They're looking for the human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a nice tasty snack. <laughs> you hear that sound? That's the sound of cicadas right there. 200 plus decibels. If you know how loud that is, that is insanely loud. You get surrounded by a couple of those, that'll make you go deaf. So it gets up to the uh, neck in terms of how deep it is? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. You need to... Oh, you Yeah, I got the waterproof bag. Yeah, I love these types of adventures. This isn't uh, any sort of trail you could easily get here on your own. We're walking through uh, rivers and lakes to find this cave. No markings or signs anywhere on where to go. So we have made it over to the cave here, Nam Talu Cave. There are snakes, insects, spiders, so many things deep inside that we're gonna come across. The cobras swim through the water, right? They swim through the water? We gotta watch out, they might be swimming through here. Really? All animals that live in the cave can swim? It's like a diamond. Is it not diamond? That's pretty insane. <laughs> it's a silica. You know silica? Oh, yeah. silicon dioxide. It's got like almost a sandy type of texture. There's a whole army of them up top. Look at this. They're not too happy to be woken up right now. There are so many of them. Jeez, they look like little hamsters with wings. They don't look as scary as you'd imagine. I like the ones, the fruit bats. Like little, like the little, um, I think this is like, um, like a bellflower. Oh, yeah. oh. Were there any tribes or people that used to live in this cave? No. <laughs> Cause in, uh, in Tham Lad cave, they used to live in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because in the rain, rain season, is the, the high water. Oh, because oh, the high water. Uh, so how high will the water go up to, like here? Yeah. Oh, the whole the whole cave. And the Indonesian is cold. No people here. Oh, okay. What is that thing, a toad? Toad, yes. Venomous? It's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a toad, like a frog. Why does he move when we are here? Like we're in this like half pipe type of fixture, you can see how the rainwater has eroded it into this kind of tunnel. This is like Nice and refreshing. Uh, <laughs> cool, right? Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Tight little passageway, this is insane. <laughs> Alright, we're going deep in the water now. Alright, nice and easy. <laughs> A little slippery. Oh yeah, fully waterproof. Woohoo! Yeah. Alright. Guys, we are literally up to here in the cave, going through. And there's swimming cobras in here, right? <laughs> Into here where we're gonna have to actually swim. Not for the faint of heart, not for the claustrophobic, but definitely for the adventurers. Oh, look at this little passageway. Holy crap. This is how small of a passageway it is. We've got... Maybe it is like canyoneering. Here's the, here's the rope. Wow. Just wedge in the way through. No idea if there's cobras, snakes, or spiders. 
surrounding us. Oh my gosh, we are so deep into this cave. Alright, we're going in. We are swimming through. And we're here. Oh, we're still going. Alright, and we have made it out of the cave. That was mesmerizing to say the least. Alright, back at the boat. Alright, another crop coon cop for you guys. Oh, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, we have just made it back to the yeah, resort. Yeah, yeah. Can, uh, if Great you, time, cop coon yeah, yeah, Alright, time to have ourselves a quick lunch. Look at how big this burger is. Load up a little mayo, lettuce. I'm gonna get rid of those tomatoes. Big burger patty right there. Cheese, egg, and pickle up top. Well, let's try that out. Look at this thing. Mmm. 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 That is phenomenal. Like a drippy nacho cheese like sauce. Mmm. 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 This is exactly what we need after a cave exercise. Guys, that has been such an awesome full day today. Filmed a bit of it, but a lot of it was just kind of just chilling and relaxing, taking in some of the views after obviously doing the adventurous cave exploring. And the cave exploring was awesome, but unfortunately, like obviously the GoPro can only capture so much because of how dark it is, but that was such a cool experience. Now we're gonna go get one last meal at the restaurant. And then after that, we've actually got a massage planned. So we are finishing up our last evening here. And we gotta get ourselves a fresh dinner. We had the Thai last night, so we're gonna try the Western food tonight, just so we got a mix of everything. All right, we got our same dinner table as last night, and we're gonna be having a different menu tonight. So let's check this out with a, a salad, please. Yes, please, just one. Uh, and uh, wine as well, red wine. And then uh, the salad. Cup one cup. All right, we got ourselves a little uh, sparkling water and a glass of wine. Oh, that's gonna pair nicely with the beef stroganoff. All right, we got a well-presented salad here. Looks like we got some tuna in there, an egg, and a bunch of greens and other veggies. Mmm. Mmm. Just gobbled down that entire salad. That was phenomenal so so good honestly two of those i would have been full all right the chow has arrived we got the beef stroganoff and it looks like they made that steak up top just how i like it you can see it as a little pink still now let's try one of these juicy pieces of beef first to start out mm. Mm. that my friends is g double -O -D. I will say, anything Italian always has my heart. And they said to wash it down with a little red wine. Phenomenal dinner part two, my friends. And we are heading back to the room to go get a little massage to finish off the night. It's time to get a massage up on the uh, second floor. We'll put it on time lapse. Such a nice massage. It is time to go to bed and we've got a breathing exercise at 6.30 a.m. So going to bed by 9 p.m. Good night. And it is time. Whew. Good morning. Good morning, my friends. We woke up just in time for the breathing exercise. It's nice to be down here this early. Swati Cup. 
Papi? Ooh, it might be that time. Papi, yeah. the cup. I told you I was gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, I made it. <laughs> That was a great session. Thank you so much. Go for the Amazing. What was your name one more time? Mai. Yeah. Yeah. My Mai? name is Mai. Mai. All right, Mai. Nice to meet you, Mai. You. Thank you so much. See you. This is my last day, though, so first and last time out here. Thank you. I, I need to, but I can't. I'd love to, but. Surat Tani and 500 Rai have treated me well. I'm pretty sad to be leaving today, but all good things sometimes must come to an end, but it means I'll have to do another trip sometime. See if these fish are hungry. Oh, there they come. Oh, he's hungry. <laughs> They're going nuts. So we have taken the big one back to the shore. Cup kun cub. Cup Coon Cup, thank you very much. We have made it back to the pier after two nights out here and that surely was a nice time. Good news is, our bike's still here. No one stole it, we're the phone holder. We will uh, drive back and drop the motorbike rental off. We've got an hour and 11 minutes. After a long journey, we have made it back to the Restiny Hostel, which is a bounce location that I stored my stuff, so let's go get our stuff. Hello. Yes. Uh, I need to pick up a uh, bag that I stored here. Ah, okay. Alright, we are all set. Picked up right there. Sweet. There's me. Alright, thank you very much. Cop and cop. Alright guys, and that's how easy it is to uh, bounce your bag just like that. Got my suitcase and I'm on my way to my next spot. Cup and cup. Thank you. I want to mention it's pretty cool. Some of the times that I've stored my bags with bounce, the workers at the shop that I am storing my bag at have offered me some local tips on places to see because they know I'm a tourist obviously storing my bag. And so yeah, that's been pretty cool. So there's a bunch of other benefits you get from storing your bag with bounce. Now I do want to mention there are over 10,000 locations all around the world so most likely the city you're going to next you'll be able to find tons of bounce locations and quite close to wherever you're staying so save yourself some time save yourself some money and you can save even more money like i mentioned use my code world nomad now it's five dollars sitting on the table for you all you have to do is go to the bounce app so download it from the app store and then sign up and use the code world nomad and you'll have five bucks that's just sitting in your account for the next time you need to use bounce in case you're not traveling yet so guys Really hope you've enjoyed today's video. We explored all over Surat Thani. I had the time of my life in Kausak, and I hope you guys did too. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.